Throughout the ages, archaeologists and historians have dug up remnants of lost civilizations. You never know what you're going to dig up, and it's just nice and calm and peaceful. And, but you get those moments where it's very exciting when you find that thing. Piecing together the puzzle of humanity's past. Yet, amidst the rubble and dust, lie artifacts that defy explanation, discoveries that threaten to rewrite the very fabric of history itself. What are some examples of forbidden archaeological finds throughout history? And who decides which discoveries are off-limits to researchers, and what motivations might they have? Join us as we unravel 20 finds archaeologists and historians were forbidden to study so as not to rewrite history. Number 20. The Chirping Pyramid. Constructed around 1100 AD, this pyramid holds within its stone walls a captivating auditory enigma. One stands at the base of its high staircases and claps their hands. An extraordinary sound reverberates back, a sound reminiscent of the sacred clear bird's call, deeply revered in Maya culture. What makes this auditory experience even more intriguing is the pyramid's unique design. It boasts four stairways, each adorned with 91 steps, amounting to a total of 365 steps, a direct reflection of the days in the Maya calendar. This architectural symmetry isn't just for show. It plays a pivotal role in creating the mysterious chirping echo. As the sound of clapping meets the pyramid's facade, it doesn't encounter a solid wall. Instead, it dances among the hundreds of small steps, sparking a symphony of echoes. These echoes, varying in distance traveled, intertwine with one another, creating a cascade of sounds. The lower steps produce rapid, high-pitched echoes, closely followed by longer intervals of lower-pitched echoes from the higher steps. This gradual shift in pitch mirrors the melodious chirping of a bird. To this day, the phenomenon remains hidden in mystery. Was this chirping feature a mere coincidence of architectural design or a deliberate creation by the ancient builders? The answer eludes us, adding another layer of intrigue to this captivating pyramid in the heart of Mexico. Number 19. Mystery of the Kensington Runestone. In the year 1898, in the heart of Minnesota, an extraordinary event happened, painting a clear picture of historical intrigue. Imagine a simple farmer by the name of Olaf Oman toiling away on his land, clearing away trees and stubborn stumps. Amidst his labor, something remarkable caught his eye. A sizable stone nestled amongst the roots of a small tree. But this was no ordinary stone. It held within it a mysterious script, a cryptic message waiting to be deciphered. Standing as tall as a ruler and possessing a width relating to a computer screen, the stone was not only imposing in size, but also in weight, its significance initially escaping Omen's grasp. For nine long years, the mysterious message remained a puzzle until Emer R. Holland finally unraveled its secrets. Carved upon its surface was a tale of Goths and Norwegians embarking on a daring exploration of a Newfoundland, dubbed Vinland. This revelation shook the foundations of history, suggesting the possibility that Vikings may have traversed the vast Atlantic long before the famed voyage of Columbus. However, skepticism lingered in the minds of some, casting doubt upon the authenticity of the Kensington Runestone's narrative. Number 18. Ancient Funeral Masks. In the heart of Siberia, a remarkable discovery has been unearthed, covered in both mystery and ice ancient funeral masks, each telling a tale as chilling as the Siberian winds. Carved with careful precision and adorned with intricate designs, these masks have emerged from age-old burial mounds, serving as silent witnesses to long-forgotten rituals. Crafted with an undeniable artistry, these masks offer a haunting glimpse into the afterlife beliefs of an enigmatic ancient culture. Yet it is not just their beauty that captivates, but also the irregularities in their craftsmanship and symbols that ignite controversy among historians and archaeologists. As experts delve deeper into the mystery, questions abound. Who were the individuals behind these faces? Why do some masks defy the known iconography of Siberian tribes? Could these artifacts be remnants of a lost Siberian civilization, one that could potentially reshape our understanding of ancient Eurasian history? However, amidst the excitement of this groundbreaking discovery, there are whispers of dissent. Certain forces prefer these masks to remain enigmatic, fearing the revelations they might bring. Yet the beauty of unraveling the secrets hidden within these ancient funeral masks proves too irresistible for those determined to uncover the truth. Number 17. The Sandia Cave. Deep within the rugged expanse of the Sandia Mountains near Albuquerque, New Mexico, 
lies a hidden gem known as the Sandia Cave. This remarkable cavern isn't just any ordinary cave, it's a site of immense historical significance, designated as a National Historic Landmark. Its allure isn't just confined to archaeology, it holds a rich fabric of cultural significance for several Pueblo groups. Back in the 1930s, an archaeologist by the name of Frank Hibben delved into its depths, unearthing astonishing findings that reshaped our understanding of ancient human habitation in North America. Contrary to previous beliefs, Hibben's excavations revealed that humans had dwelled within the cave long before imagined. However, his discoveries weren't without controversy, as some in the scientific community raised doubts about their authenticity. Nevertheless, the intrigue surrounding the Sandia Cave persists. The cave's ceilings bear proof of its ancient past, with faint traces of blackening from eons of smoke, indicating its use as a shelter across generations. Unfortunately, the passage of time hasn't been entirely kind to this historical marvel, as vandalism and graffiti mar its walls, prompting conservation efforts to protect its integrity. For those drawn to explore the mysteries concealed within the Sandia Cave, preparation is key. Proper hiking gear is essential, as the trail leading to the cave is rugged, involving a challenging ascent and a metal circular stairway guiding adventurers to its mouth. Yet the effort is well worth it, as within the cave awaits a breathtaking view of Lys Canyon. Number 16. Spanish Hill If you happen to live near Pennsylvania, you might have heard of the intriguing Spanish Hill. Situated near S.E. in Athens, at the convergence point of the Chim and Sasana rivers, this location has captured the curiosity of people for ages. From a geological standpoint, Spanish Hill stands out as a flat-topped glacial formation rising over 230 feet above the neighboring floodplain of the Chemung River. Covering about 10 acres, it presents a striking contrast against the surrounding landscape. Its strategic positioning made it a vital spot for the Sena Indians, quite possibly serving as one of the largest settlements in the area. Despite its importance, the origins of Spanish Hill's name and its historical significance remain hidden in mystery. Early European explorers were drawn to this site, one of the first places they encountered in Pennsylvania. Local Native Americans allegedly referred to it as Hispin or Espin, but the exact meaning behind these names remains elusive. Excavations and studies conducted at Spanish Hill have unveiled a trove of Native American artifacts, underscoring its historical importance. Yet, rather than settling debates, these discoveries have only fueled further speculation about the site's true nature and significance. In essence, Spanish Hill stands as a proof of the rich history and enigmatic allure of Pennsylvania's landscape, beckoning curious minds to unravel its mysteries and piece together its story. Number 15. Las Lunas Decalogue Stone In the late 1800s, a remarkable discovery was made near Las Lunas, New Mexico, a place surrounded by mystery and history. Hidden Mountain, about 35 miles from bustling Albuquerque, held a secret that would baffle and intrigue scholars for years to come. It was here that a massive rock, known as the Los Lunas Decalogue Stone, stood silent yet powerful, bearing markings that seemed to echo ancient Hebrew script. These markings, like a condensed version of the sacred Ten Commandments, were etched into the stone surface, hinting at a connection to a distant past. In 1933, Professor Frank Hibbins, an avid enthusiast of ancient relics, stumbled upon this enigmatic rock. Its origins traced back to the 1800s when a young treasure hunter first uncovered it. Despite skeptics pointing out discrepancies in the punctuation of the inscriptions, linguist Barry Fell defended its authenticity, noting that the punctuation aligned with ancient norms of writing. However, others dismissed these irregularities as evidence of forgery, while some saw them as part of a mysterious puzzle waiting to be unraveled. The significance of the Las Lunas Decalogue Stone lies in its potential to rewrite history. Some believe it hints at an early arrival of individuals from Israel to America, a notion that challenges conventional narratives of exploration and discovery. Number 14. Aluminum Wedge of AIUD The aluminum wedge found in AIUD remains a perplexing puzzle in the world of archaeology, discovered deep below layers of soil near the Romanian town in 1974. Dating back over 10,000 years, this artifact defies all conventional explanations, leaving experts scratching their heads. What sets this discovery apart is not just its age, but its composition. Crafted from an aluminum mix, a material thought to be beyond the reach of ancient civilizations, it challenges the very timeline of human technological advancement. 
aluminum, known for its widespread use in modern times, only became readily available in the 1800s. Yet here we have a precision-engineered wedge resembling parts used in contemporary aircraft buried beneath ancient earth. It's a paradox wrapped in an enigma, an evidence of the ingenuity of a civilization long gone, hidden in mystery. This discovery not only questions our understanding of history, but also challenges the fabric of time itself. Number 13. The Electric Stones The recent revelation of remarkable stones found in the depths of Monono Congo has ignited global intrigue and fascination. This captivating discovery happened through a widely circulated online video, wherein local inhabitants stumbled upon these peculiar stones and unveiled a truly astonishing phenomenon. Upon pressing these stones together, sparks erupted relating to the dazzling display witnessed during metal welding. These stones possess an enigmatic beauty, characterized by their glossy, clouded-like appearance and an inexplicable power that defies conventional understanding. As the video disseminated across the internet, it ignited a flurry of speculation and conjecture. Some enthusiasts drew parallels between these stones and the fabricated vibranium metal illustrated in the Black Panther comics and films, igniting visions of futuristic marvels. Others pondered whether these stones harbored undiscovered minerals or elements, hinting at potential groundbreaking scientific revelations. One particularly intriguing video showcased a tiny stone connected to a light bulb via wires, purportedly illuminating the bulb with a mere fraction of these stones capable of powering it for an astounding 72 hours. Perhaps the most astounding demonstration captured in the video illustrates two larger stones effectively welding a tool together, a feat that seemingly defies the fundamental laws of energy. However, amidst the awe and wonder, skepticism lingered. Doubters speculated that the videos might be cleverly organized illusions, questioning the incredibility of stones possessing inherent electrical energy. Experts cautioned against jumping to conclusions, suggesting alternative explanations, such as the implementation of external power sources or sophisticated video editing techniques, casting doubt on the authenticity of these electrifying phenomena. Number 12. Old Human-Like Footprints during the calm days of summer in 2002, researchers stumbled upon a remarkable sight near the quiet village of Trulos, ancient footprints etched into a rock surface. These prints bore an uncanny resemblance to those of a human, sparking a wave of excitement among archaeologists. It marked a pivotal moment in archaeological history, for these footprints seem to offer a glimpse into a bygone era some 5.7 million years ago. The striking similarity to human footprints hinted at the existence of a species that roamed the Earth long before Homo sapiens emerged. But the intrigue didn't stop there. Recent studies have pushed the age of these footprints even further back, suggesting they may be around 6 million years old. To put this into perspective, these footprints predate the famous Lucy footprints found in Tanzania by a significant margin. Lucy's prints are a mere 3.2 million years old, What's particularly fascinating about these footprints is their shape. They bear a remarkable resemblance to modern human feet, boasting five distinct toes without any sign of claws. The alignment of the big toe runs parallel to the other toes, and there's a noticeable ball at the base of the foot. Standing in stark contrast to non-human ape footprints, which resemble a hand more than a foot, with the big toe jutting out to the side. Number 11. The Mysterious Sayer Discovery In the shadowy embrace of the 1880s, an astonishing archaeological revelation unfolded, igniting curiosity and wonder among a group of daring Americans. In a burial mound, concealed from the eyes of modernity, suddenly discovered by fearless explorers. What lay within was nothing short of extraordinary, a trove of peculiar human remains, covered in the mystery of the ages. Among these ancient skeletons lay a startling secret, skulls adorned with bony protrusions relating to horns, elegantly poised about two inches above the brows. These skulls, once belonging to seemingly ordinary men, bore a mysterious crown of bone, evoking a strange atmosphere. But that's not all. These skeletal remnants whispered tales of giants, towering over seven feet tall, laid to rest around the year 1200 AD. Such a revelation was no ordinary feat. It took a league of distinguished antiquarians to orchestrate it. Among them stood Dr. G.P. Donahoe, a dignitary from the state of Pennsylvania, alongside A.B. Skinner, a fearless explorer hailing from the American Investigating Museum, and W.K. Moorhead of Phillips Academy in Massachusetts. Curiously, this wasn't the first time such enigmas had surfaced in North America. 
Throughout the 19th century, similar astonishing skulls emerged in various places, like Wellsville, New York, and a mining hamlet near El Paso, Texas. Historically, horns symbolized power, adorning the likes of legendary figures such as Alexander the Great and even biblical figures like Moses. Number 10. Mysterious Horned Skulls Deep in a hidden part of Pennsylvania, nestled amidst thick forest and tangled bushes, a remarkable discovery sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. As the earth was carefully peeled away, an extraordinary find emerged. A collection of skulls unlike any seen before, adorned with protruding horns from their foreheads. Initially dismissed as a possible prank, further investigation revealed the undeniable authenticity of these skeletal remains, dating back to the 13th century. The revelation of these horned skulls prompted a profound reassessment of established historical narratives. Theories surrounding their origins are as enigmatic as the skulls themselves, sparking a series of strange speculations. Some conjecture that they may have belonged to a forgotten tribe or an ancient cult, possibly practicing a form of skull alteration akin to the head-binding customs observed in certain cultures. Others ponder the possibility of a previously undocumented genetic irregularity. Despite extensive scrutiny, the true genesis of these horned skulls remains veiled in mystery, inviting endless fascination and conjecture from historians and archaeologists alike. Number 9. Antarctica In 1929, during the conversion of Istanbul's top copy palace into a museum, an intriguing discovery was made. Among a bundle of forgotten items unearthed during the renovation, a worker stumbled upon a particularly intriguing parchment map. This map, later identified as the creation of Piri Reis, an Ottoman admiral and cartographer, gained attention not only for its age, but also for its remarkable details drawn from Christopher Columbus's voyages and other historical sources. Dating back to 1513, the map stood out as one of the earliest surviving documents to feature the Americas. What made it even more captivating was its curious depiction of what seemed to be Antarctica, a continent not officially discovered until 1820, over 300 years after Piri Race crafted the map. This enigmatic portrayal has ignited ongoing debates and speculation. Some speculate that the map suggests an ancient civilization with knowledge surpassing that of the 16th century. Others propose that Piri Race might have compiled the map from even older sources, hinting at explorations of Antarctica before its official discovery. However, skeptics and scholars argue that the depiction of Antarctica could be a misunderstanding or an accidental inclusion, perhaps based on incomplete geographical knowledge of the time. Number 8. Grolier Codex In 1965, an intriguing discovery was made in Mexico, a mysterious book, worn and weathered, with 11 of its pages damaged. This book, although appearing like an ancient codex, was not immediately accepted as authentic. This skepticism was understandable given the prevalence of forged archaeological artifacts during that era. Yet as time passed, the authenticity of the book came under closer scrutiny. Scientists and researchers conducted various tests and studies to unravel its mysteries. One such test, radiocarbon dating, revealed dates consistent with the 11th or 12th century. Additionally, the identification of certain key ingredients such as Maya blue and pagerskite matched the materials commonly used by the Maya civilization. These findings gradually solidified the book's status as a genuine artifact, recognized today as the Grolier Codex, a proof of the ancient Maya civilization. The contents of this codex are as intriguing as its origins. Each page represents a standing deity facing left, accompanied by a column of repeated day signs along the left-hand side. Moreover, the codex carefully records the celestial movements of Venus, a significant aspect of Maya culture twisted with their rituals and calendar systems. In essence, the Grolier Codex stands as a tangible link to the enigmatic world of the Maya, offering glimpses into their beliefs, practices, and profound understanding of the cosmos. Number 7. Mysteries of the Acambaro Deep within the heart of Mexico's Acambaro region lies a captivating tale that challenges conventional beliefs and beckons the curious towards a quest for truth. In 1944, Waldemar Julius Rudd unearthed a treasure trove of 33,000 Acambaro figures, delicately crafted ceramic sculptures portraying a multitude of creatures ranging from dinosaurs to humans. This astounding discovery sparked heated debates as proponents signaled it as evidence of human-dinosaur coexistence, daring to question established scientific timelines and interpretations of Genesis. However, amidst the passion of discovery, 
skepticism cast its shadow. Doubters questioned the authenticity and motivations behind Rudd's findings. A German immigrant named Yul Rud and a passionate young Earth creationist named Dennis Swift championed the discovery, suggesting ancient connections between civilizations like the Egyptians and dinosaurs. Yet, archaeologist Charles C. Dee's careful examination revealed the figures to be modern forgeries rather than ancient relics. The saga continued to happen, drawing in supporters like Charles Hapgood and Don Patton, along with the intrigue of esteemed author Earl Stanley Garter. Amidst conflicting dating techniques, initial tests hinted at antiquity, only to be later contradicted. Gary W. Cavo and Mark Sean's research uncovered disparities in firing temperatures and the unreliability of dates, further hiding the tale in mystery. Number 6. Altamira Cave – Art In the heart of Spain, tucked away within the Altamira Caves, lies a remarkable display of prehistoric artistry. These ancient caverns boast a breathtaking spectacle that transports us back to a time when our early ancestors wandered the earth, capturing scenes of American buffaloes, horses, and leaving behind their handprints as a mark of their presence. Discovered in the late 19th century by Marcelino Sanz de Sautuola and his daughter, the authenticity of these cave paintings sparked intense debate among scholars. Many found it difficult to believe that prehistoric humans could create such intricate and advanced artwork. Some even dismissed the paintings as clever forgeries designed to deceive and mislead. However, as similar cave paintings were uncovered across Europe, skepticism gave way to amazement. The sheer complexity and skill demonstrated in these ancient artworks silenced the doubters. Yet one cannot help but wonder what might have happened if this breathtaking discovery had not been carefully documented. Without the evidence of our ancestors' unparalleled artistic abilities immortalized on the walls of these caves, their mastery might have been relegated to mere whispered tales, dismissed as parables. Now it's time for today's subscribers' pick. Archaeologists and historians were forbidden to study these finds, so as not to rewrite history. In the depths of a forgotten valley lay buried secrets that defied the known narrative of history. It was a place hidden in mystery, guarded by the shadows of time, where archaeologists and historians dared not tread, for they were forbidden to study the finds that lay within. Amidst the lush foliage and crumbling ruins, a lone figure stood, gazing at the forbidden entrance of an underground network. Dr. Amelia Rhodes, renowned archaeologist, felt the weight of anticipation as she prepared to defy the decree that bound her profession. With a resolve born of curiosity and a thirst for truth, she stepped into the darkness, her heart pounding with excitement. Illuminated by the faint glow of her torch, she uncovered artifacts that spoke of a history long erased from the annals of time, relics of a civilization far more advanced than any known to modern scholars. Among the artifacts, Dr. Rhodes discovered a series of intricately carved tablets, each bearing cryptic symbols and enigmatic inscriptions. Yet, as she delved deeper into the forbidden texts, she realized the implications of her discoveries. They threatened to rewrite the very fabric of history. What led Dr. Amelia Rhodes to defy the decree forbidding the study of the forbidden finds? What secrets do the artifacts unearthed by Dr. Rhodes hold, and how do they challenge our understanding of history? Let's know your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. Three Tombs. The ancient civilization of Egypt has captivated humanity for centuries, with its enigmatic rulers leaving behind a legacy that continues to intrigue us to this day. Among these rulers, one figure stands out, Akhenaten originally known as Amenhotep IV. He reigned around 1,353 BCE and is perhaps best known as the father of the famous young pharaoh, King Tutankhamun. What makes Akhenaten particularly fascinating is the mystery surrounding his final resting place. Instead of one, there are three tombs associated with him. The first, initially mistaken for belonging to a different era, was discovered in 1817 in the Valley of the Kings by Giovanni Battista Belzoni. Later, Akhenaten's team suggested that this might indeed be his tomb, dating it to his reign around 1353 BCE. Another tomb, located in the capital city of Akhenaten, was found in 1907. Despite suffering damage, it contained artifacts and reliefs depicting Akhenaten, his queen Nefertiti, and their daughters. Artifacts linked to his second wife Kia and his famous son Tutankhamun were also unearthed nearby, hinting at a royal connection. Number 4. Runamo. Runamo, an archaeological marvel nestled in Bingo, Sweden. This mysterious site, 
known as the Cracked Droit Dyke, has puzzled scholars and locals alike for centuries with its mysterious markings spanning about 72 feet. The intrigue surrounding Runamo traces back to the 12th century, when the Danish chronicler Saxo Grammaticus first mentioned it, describing it as a cliff adorned with peculiar letters, a conundrum that persisted even then. Despite the efforts of Danish King Valdemar I, who dispatched experts to decode the engravings, the passage of time and the harsh elements had rendered them indecipherable. Fast forward to the 19th century, and Runamo found itself at the center of a passionate scholarly debate. In 1833, the Royal Danish Academy of Sciences organized an expedition to investigate these runes. Among the team was Finur Magnusson, a philologist, who, after initial struggles, claimed to have cracked the code, interpreting it as an ancient ode to King Hilden in the Battle of Bala. However, his interpretation sparked controversy and faced widespread skepticism. Following Magnusson's unsuccessful attempt, Swedish scientist John Jakob Berzelius embarked on his own study. He proposed a radical theory, suggesting that what appeared to be runes were in fact natural cracks in the rock, formed by ancient volcanic activity. Number 3. Funeral Mask Holds a Bizarre Secret A strange mystery grips the minds of Russian archaeologists as they delve into the peculiar tale of an ancient sheep skull burial. This captivating saga began with the discovery of a wonderful clay mask nestled within a Siberian burial mound. Unearthed by Professor Anat Martinov in 1968, the mask was initially believed to belong to a young warrior laid to rest in the Shovsky burial mound number six. However, recent investigations led by Professor Natalia and Dr. Konstantin Cooper have unraveled a startling revelation. Contrary to expectations, the clay head concealed within it was not the remnants of a human skull, but that of a sheep. This enigma has left researchers puzzled, prompting speculation about its significance. Could this irregularity be merely a random occurrence or does it hint at deeper customs from ancient times? Professor Palm proposes two intriguing theories. Firstly, he suggests that the mask might have served as a substitute for a man whose body was lost in distant lands or the wilderness. In this interpretation, the sheep's skull symbolizes a vessel for the man's soul, carrying him into the afterlife. Secondly, the sheep skull could signify a symbolic rebirth or fresh beginning, marking a transition in status or identity. Alongside this perplexing discovery, archaeologists have also unearthed evidence of a ritualistic burial method involving partial mummification. Number 2. Ancient Maya Artifacts Ancient Maya artifacts are like treasures from a mysterious time long ago. They come from the heart of Mesoamerica, where the Maya civilization once thrived. These artifacts are more than just old objects. They are like pieces of a puzzle that historians have been trying to solve for centuries. Imagine intricately carved stones with strange writings on them, dazzling jewelry fit for royalty. These artifacts give us a peek into a society that was not only complex, but also very advanced for its time. Some of these artifacts don't quite fit with what we thought we knew about the Maya. Among them are curious drawings of beings from other worlds and tales of journeys to the stars. These ideas are not what we typically associate with Maya culture. Some experts think these drawings might be misunderstood, just ancient stories with no deeper meaning. But others believe they could hint at something more extraordinary. Maybe the Maya had contact with beings from outer space, or perhaps they knew of civilizations that are still unknown to us. These artifacts challenge everything we thought we knew about the Maya and their history. Number 1. Ancient Gears and Cult Objects For the past century, people in Orange County, Southern California, have stumbled upon a captivating array of ancient artifacts resembling small wheels. These aren't ordinary wheels found on carts or vehicles. Instead, they're unearthed in fields or during construction projects, covered in mystery regarding their purpose. After years of speculation, researchers have finally unraveled the enigma surrounding these peculiar objects. These wheels are attributed to the Millingstone Horizon culture, an ancient society that thrived in Southern California between 2,500 and 7,500 years ago. What makes these findings even more intriguing is their diversity coming in four to seven distinct types, including flat, grilled, pierced, and some devoid of holes altogether. Adding to the complexity, they feature varying numbers of points, ranging from a single one to an astonishing 22, with most having between 10 to 17 points. The precision with which these stones are crafted suggests the work of skilled artisans from antiquity. Crafted from an assortment of materials such as red mushroom, shale, sandstone, basalt, or granite, 
Each wheel carries its own narrative. Interestingly, these stones might be linked to specific clans or groups within the Millingstone Horizon culture, further heightening the intrigue. Their frequent discovery near the sea or coastal hills creates a compelling pattern, hinting at potential cultural practices or rituals associated with these locations. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.